InReach or Zolio? That's one of the questions I get asked the most. And today I have with me here the Garmin InReach Mini 2 and the Zolio to compare both of them and see which one is the better SOS and satellite communication option. First, let's compare the specs of these two devices because that may be a deal breaker for some of you. If you want really ultralight gear, then you're gonna wanna go with the InReach Mini 2 because it weighs only 100 grams, whereas the Zolio weighs 150 grams. So that's 50% more weight with the Zolio. The Zolio is also just a little bit bulkier than the InReach Mini. They both have dust and water resistance ratings. The Zolio has a slightly better rating. It can go down to 1.5 meters for 30 minutes compared to the InReach Mini, which can only go down to one meter for 30 minutes. But I don't know how many of you are using your satellite communication devices underwater anyways. Battery life is a bit of an interesting thing with these two devices as well. The Zolio has a bigger battery at just over 1400 milliamp hours, whereas the InReach Mini has a 950 milliamp hour battery but the InReach gets better battery life compared to the Zolio. Zolio and Garmin both have a bunch of numbers on their website for different battery life scenarios. But for me, in real world conditions where I have the device Bluetooth connected to my phone, I'm sending messages throughout the day and I'm not doing any tracking, I get about seven to eight days of battery life with the InReach Mini 2 and six to seven days of battery life with the Zolio. So Link to battery life is how each of these devices charges. The Garmin InReach uses USB-C in order to charge, whereas the Zolio uses micro USB. And with my tests, I found that you can put twice as much power into the InReach as the Zolio, and because it has a smaller battery as well, it charges much faster. And a really big benefit of the InReach having a smaller battery but longer battery life is that you're gonna use less of your battery power stores charging it when you're on trail. And it's gonna take less time to charge when you're in town if you are on a through hike. Both devices connect to the Iridium satellite network for both SOS and satellite communication services. So they're gonna be pretty much on par for that, especially the SOS capabilities. If you press SOS on either of these devices, you're gonna be connected to the exact same people. And what happens there is that you get connected to the GEOS IERCC service, and then they connect you with local search and rescue. One of the big benefits of the InReach Mate 2 is that it has a screen and you can message directly from the device. So you can use the device as a standalone. You don't need to connect to a cell phone. Whereas the Zolio, you do need to tether it to your cell phone for a lot of the functionality. You can still send in an SOS request through the device or a check-in, but that's it. With the InReach, you can trigger an SOS or you can send messages to cell phones and email addresses right from the device. One of the big benefits of two-way satellite communication devices paired with SOS capabilities is that if you do trigger an SOS, you can communicate directly with search and rescue, tell them where you are, coordinate, and even get advice on how to deal with the emergency that you're in. And with the InReach Mini 2, you have a big benefit in that you have on-device communication. With the Zolio, if your cell phone dies, you can't have two-way communication with those SOS services. Whereas with the InReach, if your phone dies, you still could have that communication. And I've dropped my phone in the water, I've had it die on me, and if I had ran into an emergency, I'd still be able to communicate with emergency response services with the InReach. Another awesome feature is that you, with both devices, you can check weather. You can trigger that with your phone on the Zolio and the InReach, or directly through the device with the InReach. And that weather their forecast is fairly accurate. It's not always the best, but it'll get the job done. I found that it's super useful when you're on long multi-day trips in order to check the weather to make sure that the forecast hasn't changed on you because getting caught in bad weather can be very dangerous while out on trail. You can use both devices for navigation while it's tethered to your phone or directly on the device with the InReach. The Zolio connects to two satellite constellations, GPS and GLONASS, whereas the InReach connects to four constellations, GPS, Galileo, QZSS, and Beidou. So it has slightly better accuracy compared to the Zolio. If you wanna use the InReach as a standalone device, not having your phone with you like you need to do with the Zolio, you can load up routes right onto the device and get a breadcrumb trail that you can follow while you're out navigating the backcountry, as well it has a really good digital compass which you can use in order to navigate when you're on trail as well. Well, SOS is probably the most important feature that these devices have. The thing you'll probably be using it for the most is messaging. So the messaging ecosystem for both devices is super important, something I wanna talk about now. Both devices require a monthly subscription plan in order to use satellite communication services as well as the SOS services. And within those plans, you get a certain number of two-way messages that you can use per month. 
But what's interesting with the Zolio is that while the Garmin only uses the Iridium network for messaging, the Zolio will use either Wi-Fi or cellular, whatever you're connected to in order to send messages and then you're not using up your message allocation for the month. And if you're in and out of Wi-Fi and cellular quite often, like if you're doing a through hike on a trail that has good cell phone reception, then that's gonna be a big benefit for the Zolio. With the inReach, you also get unlimited preset messages as part of your plans, which is a really big benefit. You get three of them and I like to set them as random check-in, starting the day and finishing the day. And with those three presets, you can cover off a lot of the messaging that you do and not eat into your precious monthly message allocation. The Zolio, it by far has the best messaging out of any satellite communication de device that I've used. The app is just super intuitive, very clear, connects to the device very easily and consistently, and the messaging experience is just flawless. Whereas the inReach, it's not quite as smooth sailing. The move to the Explore app has improved the experience with the inReach connection to the device is a lot more consistent. The app always pulls messages from the device, which is something that I had an issue with with the inReach Mini 1 and just sending messages is just a lot easier. You can also trigger those preset messages, which I talked about directly in the app. So if you want a purely messaging focused device, the Zolio is gonna be awesome for you. But which one has the better plans and which one costs more? Because that's gonna be a big factor for a lot of people. The Zolio only costs $200 for the device, whereas the inReach Mini 2 costs $400 for the device. But the upfront cost of the device is actually a pretty small piece of the pie when you compare it to the subscription plan pricing that you're gonna be paying for the whole life of the device. And personally, I think the cheapest plan is probably what most people are gonna be going with. And no matter how the cookie crumbles, however you do the math, the inReach is always gonna be less expensive than the Zolio. The inReach has a one-year subscription plan, which is much, much cheaper, but also has a similar plan to the Zolio where you can pause it for certain months of the year if you're not using it, for instance, during the winter time. For some hard numbers, for a year of subscription for the inReach, you're paying $174, whereas with the Zolio, it's gonna be $265. And that's after all of your activation fees and everything. But let's say you only wanna use the device for four months of the year. With the plans that you can pause, the inReach costs $95, whereas the Zolio is gonna be costing $100. Do the math for yourself, make sure you're choosing a device that makes the most sense for you. The inReach is also cheaper for the most expensive plans for both these devices, the plans that have unlimited messaging, which you might wanna be using if you are on a longer trip or a through hike. The one plan that the Zolio beats the inReach on is the intermediate plan, and it's a lot better than the intermediate plan for the inReach because it gets 200 messages a month instead of the 25 that the inReach has. So, so if you are messaging often but not a ton, then maybe the Zolio on that intermediate plan is the right option for you. For 90% of people, I think the inReach is gonna be the better option, but if that upfront cost is a little bit too much, or you want the most seamless messaging experience possible, then you may wanna be going with the Zolio at the expense of some of the on-device features and capabilities that the Garmin has. Go check out this video right up here if you're interested in five reasons I think everyone should have a satellite communication SOS device when in the backcountry. There's a lot of things in there that you may not have thought of that make a satellite communication device a very practical and safe thing to be bringing in the backcountry every single time.